Okay, Ron Master over here from CapsuleComputers.com. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running you through a game called Frederick: The Resurrection of Music. It's available on the Apple iPhone and also available on the Apple iPad. Um, it is right now it's, be, it's basically basically been out for a couple of days already. Um, it's from a it's from an independent company, and um, we will go through quickly explain to you what the details of the game is. If you jump into help. Uh, pretty much what we'll do is uh, run you through, it is a music rhythm game, similar to like, you know, the games like um, DJ Hero and uh, Guitar Hero and stuff like that. Uh, now, pretty much all, uh, you know, Frederick Chopin is a musical uh, composer, and he's been resurrected from the dead to bring back the music and the, the love of music, basically. And what we do is you basically play the game um, with, the, with, with, sorry, with, the, with, the, with the piano. And uh, pretty much the, the way it works is the music notes come down, you hit them at the right time, and it pretty much you play against the other bad people, not bad people, but you know, people who have been mistreated probably or been asked to do something against their will to take you on and beat you and prove to the world that they are the best musical players in the world. So what we'll do is we'll just jump, I'll jump back out, so pretty much if I click on next, um, it will take you through the mu musical notes and what they all mean. Clicking on next again, uh, that will pretty much show you the where and where to hit the musical notes and so, and so forth. Alright, and next one more time, that pretty much shows you the information about uh, the game. Alright, so jumping back with the arrow, takes you back to the main menu. Now there are a few things that we can talk about, we can go through character, uh, sorry, chapter select. This pretty much tells you where you, well, you know, after you finish the mission um, or a chapter or a level, you can go back in and play it. I've already finished it, but um, once you finish it, you can't go, you, you know, you have to start again. So unfortunately, um, well, I've only got the three chapters at the moment. We're playing it on super hard. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what I'll do, I'll go back and um, select from play. Okay, so from play, we can, like I said, start a new game. Uh, and in the new game, as you can see, we've got three different levels. You've got normal, hard, and chomping. So we're going to do chopping. So chopping is super hard. So what basically happens is Frederick does get resurrected um, from, you know, I don't know, who knows. Some of these people resurrect him and they, they want him to come back in, as you can hear right now. Rise and shine. So Chopin wakes up from the grave in Paris. And he is now going on a mission. He doesn't know what's going on. As you can see, he pretty much doesn't know. He was from an old era in time when music, and well, there basically wasn't any airplanes or cars or anything like that. So he doesn't know what's going on at the moment. So he's walking out, and he doesn't know. But pretty soon he's going to get, he's going to meet some people, and some people. Have, well, first of all, he's got to watch out for traffic. But let me cut to the cut to the chase. Like I said, I don't want to give out any spoilers because basically this sort of game is more. Now I don't want to give it away. I want you guys to go in and play it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this part. And what happens is Frederick is now going to take on Frederick versus Jacques. Jacques. Now, John is the first level, first level character in the game. Is a total of about nine levels in the game, and as you can see, music, uh, the music is ha, has been re digitally mastered and created for the game. So it's it's really well done. The, the developers have done a fantastic job at um, the way the music has come out from the original musical soundtrack from the from the you know from the piano composer. The way it's done is amazing. As you can hear, the music is fantastic. Now, as you can see right now, the notes are coming down on the screen, and as you can see, you've got the black and the white notes on the keys that you've got to press at the right time. Holding them down at the right time also gives you a great points to score. As you can see on the top right, the top left hand corner, you've got the score. It also tells you that you have to sometimes press the buttons at the same time. It's exactly like using a, p a piano. If you're a very good pianist, you will be very good at this game, I'll tell you that now. But you've got to pretty much use it and play it at the right time. It works exactly like those type of games that you've been playing, you know, with, you know, Guitar Hero and, you know, DJ Hero and all those other type of games, you know. So pretty much it's re it done really well. Okay, as you can see, 
Music notes come down, as I was explaining to you before. On the, on the left-hand side, you've got like a combo meter. It's fully maxed up at the moment. I'm doing fantastic. And you've also got the gold bars that come up as combo tacks. So you've got to try and get them all as you can. When that, when that little thing comes up on the side, you've got to try and see if you can use two hands at the same time. It's very, very hard. But, as you said, we're playing on trumpet at the moment, and it's, it, is, it is pretty hard. But I've actually been playing, playing this for a long time now. I've been practicing very, very hard just to show you what, you what it's supposed to look like when you do play the game. Fantastic graphics as well. As you can see in the background, you've got like a beautiful looking background. You've got a dog there. He looks pretty crazy looking. We're in Paris at the moment, so it looks fantastic. You can see that the developers done a fantastic job in putting in um, a lot of effort in, game, in, in graphical interface as well as gameplay. Now, as I said, the game is roughly about 600 megabytes in size. It's fantastically si It's huge size for a game of this type of game. And, um, but the reason why is there also is a lot of video and animation between each level. And when you win, it, fa it does like a lot of um, talking and story storytelling, which is fantastic. So the music in this game is not just, it's not like about music, it's also about showing a fantastic story. And unfortunately I just made a little, little mistake, as you can see my combo meter just dropped out now. Sorry, because I'm talking at the same time, it's really hard. And as you can see, my score at the top left-hand corner, just finished it right now, just made a mistake right at the end. So what happens now, every time you finish a level and you do it right, it shows, um, it shows pretty much a, a kind of a um, little cutscene, and you beat the character. And it's like a, if you go back into those fighting games like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that, it pretty much tells you right now, it'll say... Musicality. Fantastic, it's like fatality. So it's really cool. So as you can see at the end of the level, it gives you a score. Um, and also tells you that, uh, that I got a combo meter. I uh, did pretty good, nearly got to three stars. Alright, so jump out into the main menu. Pretty much what I want to show you now is the way... Uh, there is not much actually to say to tell you the truth. Apart from that, what I'm going to go through is just standard little set settings in the game. As you can see right now, let's just jump back. Uh, we'll go into the uh, game, center, game center achievements. So pretty much when you go into there, as you can see, I'm just going to uh, zoom in a little bit closer. Now, each level uh, has a rating. So if we go into the leaderboards, it pretty much tells you where you rank for each section of the game. I'm doing pretty good in the first two, as you can see. Uh, if I just go in closer, I'm ranked uh, third in the world and fourth in the world. So if we go in, for example, and see the third level, third, uh, the second Second level, which we just play, uh, first, sorry, we played, we played the first level just then. Um, but we also got, we also got the second level. That's me there, for the third from the top. But as you can see, there's some really good character, very good players out there in the world uh, that are that are doing really good. But like I said, the achievements in here are fantastic. They're, they're really good to get. Um, as you can see, I'll jump back into the real achievements. The achievements here are right there. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of different ones there. There's fifth. I've got 15 out of 18 already. So there's not too much left to get. Um, but there, there's a lot to lot to lot to do in this game and um, it can really bring out the OCD in you. That's all I can pretty much say. It's a fantastic game. It's available right now from the Apple iTunes store. If you have any questions, leave, it, leave, it on, leave, us, leave us a message on the uh, YouTube channel or leave us a message actually on the article that you've seen this on. So thank you for watching. Master Abbott signing up for CaptureComputers.com. Thank you.